Hello everyone, welcome to part 6 of Laravel interview series uh, of 2024-25 edition and in this uh, lesson we are going to learn about CSRF tokens. Okay, so it is having the uh, very much important and chances are 4 out of 5. So uh, take this seriously. So the interviewer may ask you that what are CSRF tokens? That is the important part of the Laravel. Okay, so uh, without ign see, uh, ignoring these tokens, you can't make the website. You need to uh, you need to add the code uh, to prevent the unauthorized access. So that is the reason the Laravel provides the CSRF token. So we are going to learn it in detail. So let's start. Let's see the first question that the interviewer may ask. So what is CSRF? So before learning the CSRF tokens, we must know that what is actually CSRF and the interviewer may ask you that what is CSRF? That why we used in Laravel, what is CSRF? Okay, so at that time, you must be having the proper definition of CSRF and also you must explain to the interviewer that what actually is CSRF. Okay, so let's see its answer. CSRF stands for Cross Site Request Forgery, is a web security threat that allows an attacker to induce users to perform actions that they do not attend to perform. So, CSRF is a kind of attack. We can say it's a kind of a virus. Okay, so uh, uh, the user uh, is doing some his own task, but uh, but something other thing is happened because of this attack. Okay, the 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 thing that happens that the user does not want to perform. Okay, but actually uh, this uh, attack prevents the user uh, to do what he wants to do, and he performs some other action that he don't want to do. Okay. So, to prevent such attacks, Laravel automatically generates a CSRF token for each active user. So, to prevent such attacks, Laravel auto automatically generates a CSRF token so that such attacks can be prevented in Laravel. So, that's why the Laravel websites are much secure because of these CSRF tokens. Okay. So, let's see the next question. What is CSRF token in Laravel? Okay, so now we must understand that what is CSRF token in Laravel. So let's see its answer. CSRF token is used to verify that only the authenticator user is making the request to the application preventing unauthorized access by any other user. So CSRF token uh, is used to verify that only the authenticator user. So, see, it uh, makes sure that only the authenticator user is using the application. Okay, is is uh, working on the application. So, it makes sure that only the authenticator user, the users who are meant to use the uh, use the application, are only using it. So, uh, so that's why it prevents the unauthorized access okay from the another user so it is very much clear i think okay no explanation no further explanation is required and laravel scores crud operations create read update delete with csrf token this involves html forms and submitting data from the front end to the database if the CSR, csrf token is missing during form submission laravel application will show the error okay so we have seen that in almost all the CRUD operations that we are doing in our Laravel application. We have done so many series. Uh, we have done the Laravel e-commerce series as well. We have done CRUD operations so many times. In every CRUD operation, in every form, we used to write at the rate of CSRF. We used to uh, add the CSRF token. Okay, otherwise, uh, these will not work. See, 419 error comes most of the times if you remember so uh, so this is the reason that we used to add the uh, uh, the csrf token in the laravel application okay 
So let's see the another question. How to add how to add CSRF token in Laravel forms? See, we have added so many times, and let's see its answer. We need to add CSRF syntax like below to secure Laravel forms. See, add the rate of CSRF. See, this one we have added so many times okay in the laravel application in these laravel websites okay right from the laravel 5 laravel 6 laravel 7 laravel 8 laravel 9 10 11 see in all the websites we used to add the csrf like this okay crf uh, at the end of every form i'm going to show you as well like if you want to see uh, see here i'm going to show you uh, in one of the uh, form uh, uh, that uh, we have done like the register form if we will pick some register form front user register and here uh, i'm going to show you see here see csrf so in the register form in the login form everywhere wherever we are using the form we used to add this okay so example like i have shown you like uh, we used to add this at the rate of csrf straight away after the form tag okay so we are going to add this so uh, to prevent the unauthorized access so that is the advantage of the CSRF. Okay, so let's see the another question. See, uh, yeah, for uh, one more thing, for Laravel 5 and earlier version, CSRF syntax is like below. So see, Laravel 5 and earlier version, we used to write it like this, CSRF underscore field. See, so much long syntax, but uh, now you are just required to add the add rate of CSRF. Okay, uh, so the syntax has become uh, easier from laravel 6 and laravel 6 onwards okay so let's see the next question what is xcsrf token and how to add in laravel website so we know about the csrf token so see such kind of questions the interviewer may ask because uh, these are those kind of questions that uh, uh, its answer not everyone knows okay uh, but it is uh, not that much tough enough once you will know about it then uh, you are almost every time you can uh, you are aware of it okay so let's see its answer xcrf token is used to secure ajax request see we have seen lot of time we used to add the ajax uh, so that we are not required to refresh the page uh, the uh, from this ajax request uh, the data updates instantly the data uh, we show instantly okay so we are required uh, to uh, see these x csrf token used to secure these ajax requests okay so this is the difference so uh, let's see we can add it as a meta tag into head section or website like below so like we used to add this one meta name csrf token content this so we used to add it like this uh, in almost uh, uh, every laravel application laravel website where we are using the ajax okay uh, to prevent the unauthorized access so this is the way uh, that we use it and i'm going to show you as well okay i'm going to show you here as well in every e-commerce series we used to add uh, such kind of syntax uh, for the ajax call up that we call it as the xcsf okay uh, like in the layout here see here at the top meta name csf token and CRF so this we used to almost add everywhere in every laravel website uh, right from the laravel 5 laravel 6 laravel 7 laravel 8 see we have done uh, so many e-commerce series in every series we used to add the syntax to provide uh, for the ajax call up so that we are not required so uh, one more thing we used to add uh, that i want to tell you like uh, for preventing the uh, this csrf token or uh, see sorry i'm going to open the custom.js uh, this one in front okay so here this one so see here you can see the xcrf token so this is the another way like uh, meta name this is one and the same thing you can see you can see the same thing we have added here as well meta name is csrf token and here also we have added the same thing okay so this is the another way to prevent the unauthorized access so you can add here as a headers under your ajax so it will help us to prevent the unauthorized access uh, so you, you can also add the cs token like this okay so this is the way for the ajax call ups for ajax the calls of, uh, for ajax calls and ajax requests you can able to add it like this 
so let's see uh, let's go back and let's see the next question what is the difference between csrf and xcsrf token so finally we are uh, see going to see the difference and the examiner so uh, the interviewer can ask you this question as well okay so let's see its difference c csrf token csrf token is used to secure html forms not ajax but here xcrf token is used to secure ajax request okay so that is the major difference csrf token uh, we have seen uh, while crud operations uh, normal crud operations that we used to perform with the normal html like uh, uh, like creating the form okay uh, or updating the form okay updating via form okay so that where we are not using the ajax so that csrf token uh, we use there but xcrf token we used whenever we use the ajax calls ajax request okay uh, like i have shown you then we are going to use the xcrf token so uh, normal crf token produced in backend while rendering html form and xcrf token added to the request http header for ajax request like i have shown you that we can add it in two places we can also add it in, uh, add it in uh, like uh, in header okay and also we can able to add it in uh, the script also okay so the syntax is like this for the crf token we are required to add the add rate of csrf and the syntax is is the another syntax like we able to add meta name csrf token and then content this one csrf token okay like this and we can also add the uh, syntax in the in the ajax as well in the jquery ajax as well like i have shown you that is the another way to add the xcsrf token okay so i hope it's clear uh, so uh, let's see the next question how we can turn off csrf uh, protection for a specific route see there are the cases where we want to turn off the csrf token uh, protection okay so there is the way though we are not uh, uh, not uh, turning off this protection from the last few years uh, right from the laravel 9 series laravel 9 laravel 10 laravel 11 we have not done this one because we want to make our website more secure we want to make our application more secure with the csrf so we have never done this one but in our old series if you remember that we used to prevent and there is the way to prevent okay uh, if in case it is giving you issue you are not able to resolve the issue or you are in hurry or there is some other reason then you can prevent this okay and you uh, can prevent this by adding uh, the route in this file verify csrf token.php file see here to turn off csrf token protection for a specific route we can add that specific route uh, in uh, accept variable which is present in the verify csrf token.php file so earlier on many a times we have done this one if you remember if many of my members uh, must remember this so here this is the syntax so right way like uh, this is the project 10 series and see if i will open the verify crf token so here you are simply going to add the route like you can pick any of the route from web.php and if you think that you want to like this one the add to card like if you want uh, like to prevent from this route then you will simply add it like this okay and if you want to prevent from some other route then you will simply like if you want to prevent from this one then you will simply add it like this okay so this thing we have done so many times in the previous series uh, okay uh, right up till laravel 8 okay from all the admin routes uh, we are going to add it like this because in admin that is much secure we are generally not adding the csrf token to save the time but now the threats uh, are more and we want to make our websites more secure so that's why we are not using it okay so we are just using it if we are have we have no other option we have no other choice then only we are going to use it but you must be aware of this thing okay so to prevent you are just required to add your route here then it will not ask you for the csrf then it will not give that 419 error okay so uh, let's see that's all over okay i hope that the csrf is very much clear to you so 
to prevent the unauthorized access uh, we basically require the csrf token and it is recommended to add in almost every laravel application so if the interviewer may ask then you can answer uh, these questions like this okay uh, so the chances are also bright so uh, you must uh, aware of this thing so uh, we are going to come up with more interview questions uh, with very important interview, uh, interview questions and also laravel 11 interview questions very soon uh, so please stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye